สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I've got a killer appetizer recipe to share with you. I'm making green curry spring rolls, and yes, it is as good as it sounds. And nope, it is not a traditional dish. This is something that yours truly made up. And trust me, you serve this at your next dinner party, and it is going to blow people away. It's going to be nothing like anybody's ever had. So let's get started. So since you're going through the trouble of making spring rolls, you can forgive yourself and buy some store-bought green curry paste. Okay, so I've got here my favorite brand of green curry paste. This can be anything you like. I like m a p l o y but the problem with m a p l o y is it's not green enough. So I like to oomph up the greenness with some chopped Thai basil leaves. And this is a trick that I use for my green curry as well. If you've seen that video, works super well. There we go, and as you can see, it is a lot greener now. All right, let's get the filling going here. So we're starting out very much like we would start a regular green curry. I've got some coconut milk in here that I'm going to reduce until it gets all fatty and I'm full of coconut-rich goodness. So now that it's reduced by about half, it doesn't have to go super far. I'm going to add my green curry paste. And mix that in with the coconut milk, and then continue cooking until it's really, really reduced. Oh, look at that green color! And I like to add the paste before it's had a chance to reduce too much, because I find it's easier to get the paste to loosen up with a little bit of extra liquid. Now, just based on the sound, you're gonna start to realize that it's going from simmering to frying. The sound is gonna get a little bit more oily and crackly. And you're gonna start to notice some of the coconut oil splitting away from the coconut milk itself. I don't want to break it too far because this little extra liquid is going to help me break up my turkey. So turkey is what I'm using, um, but you can use ground chicken, ground pork. You can do crumbled tofu, but I'm using ground turkey because there wasn't any ground chicken at the store. And I'm just gonna keep cooking this until it's completely cooked. And no big lumps. Remember, this is going to be spring roll filling. Any big chunks is going to make it hard to wrap. I'm going to add my palm sugar right now for some extra sweetness to balance everything out. And because my palm sugar has some, you know, chunks in it, I want to add it early so it has time to dissolve. And if you see any lumps of palm sugar, just k a y i k a y i them with the back of your spatula. So once the meat is cooked, you want to give it some time for all that liquid to evaporate because meat has a lot of liquid, right? And if there's too much, your wrapper will get soggy. Okay, so that's good enough for me for now. I'm gonna add my vegetables. So for this, I'm using red bell peppers, some carrots, which I use my julienne peeler to peel little strings, and some sweet corn. But definitely, this is something you can adjust. Now, I'm also going to add some finely julienne kefir lime leaf. Make sure you remove the center stems of these leaves because they're quite tough, and then finely, finely chop them for some citrusy aroma. If you don't have it, you don't have to put it in. Now I'm just gonna cook it for one minute to wilt the vegetables. You don't want the vegetables to be overcooked. I'm gonna add just a dash of fish sauce. Now you may or may not need to add fish sauce depending on the saltiness of your curry paste. I find that with mine, I just need like a touch. The last thing I'm going to add is some cornstarch because I want something to bind the filling together, and I've just mixed some cornstarch with a little bit of flour, so there are no more lumps. I'm gonna add all of that in and quickly stir it, because once you add flour slurry, if you don't stir, it's gonna just gel wherever they end up. There we go, and this, right away you see how they're starting to hold together better. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're too lazy to wrap, just put this on rice and you're done. All right. And now I'm going to let this cool on a plate because it will cool faster that way. So my filling has cooled. Before I wrap, I'm going to add in some extra chopped basil. You can do cilantro if you'd like, and I'm adding it at the end so it stays fresh. All right. So if you've been following the show, you know that wrapping spring rolls is one of my least favorite things to do in the kitchen, and I'm about to make it worse by making tiny little mini spring rolls, which are super cute, but it's going to be even more work. But that's okay. Once a year for a party, I can manage. So I got two different types of spring roll wrappers here. 
I made just three test ones. These are the small size that I found at the grocery store and I thought they might work for mini spring rolls, but I found out that one layer just doesn't seem to be enough. Like you can see too much of the filling through and then double wrap is just a little bit much. So what I like to do, I'll show you, is I get the regular size. This is eight inches. It's the most common size that you can buy and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. So I'm just gonna put it against my ruler here so I know that I get it at the four inch mark and then and of course if you want to make a full size one by all means <laughs> you're gonna need two of these pieces and the top piece is going to be the one that's closer to you and that's an important detail about a tablespoon of filling which doesn't sound like a lot but remember this is all meat so it's a very intense filling fold it over and pull back so that it's nice and tight now, this is the key to success right here. You gotta close the side before your filling moves past the middle of the sheet. Otherwise, you won't be able to tuck your corners in properly. Things start sticking out in the wrong places. Make sure you pick up the bottom piece and repeat again. Fold it one, fold it two. And before you finish, make sure you egg wash it with some beaten egg. If you're doing a vegan version, you can do a paste with cornstarch and water. Woohoo! Look how cute that is! Time to fry these babies! Now, if you want to bake them, you could. You could brush them with oil and bake them at 375... 375 convection, which would be 400 regular. I find that if you don't have convection oven, it doesn't work quite as well. Um, it's not as good as frying, obviously, but it'll work. 350 degree Fahrenheit oil, four to five minutes until beautifully golden. Because the filling's already cooked, we're just going for looks here. Oh my God, look how cute these are. Two bites is my size limit. If it's more than two bites, too big. And of course, you wanna serve this with my homemade sweet chili dipping sauce. And if you want a recipe, you better believe there is one. So I'll make sure I'll put the link right up here. All right. Make sure you let these cool a little bit before you bite into them because they get very hot. Mm. 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 You hear how crispy that is? I'm telling you, it's a spring roll like no spring roll you've ever had. Crunchy on the outside, but then you start chewing and the familiar flavor of green curry starts permeating your mouth and your nose and everywhere and you're like, whoa, what is that? I've never had that combination before. It's so good. Get a little bite of corn, a little sort of juicy, sweet bite. Mm, so, so good. And here's how to not double dip is for your second bite, you use the other side to dip into your delicious sweet and sour dipping sauce. Mm. So yummy and so cute. Seriously, what else could you ask for, right? So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an episode. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you get a notification when I post a new video. If you love the show and you want to support us, check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious just Thai meal. Kayi, kayi, all the little lumps of curry paste. Kayi, this is called kayi in Thai, okay? It's a great word. <laughs>